Imagine a world where everyone has the same name. Confusing, isn't it? In the realm of C programming, each variable, function, or any other user-defined item has its unique identifier, a name to distinguish it from the rest. Now, let's plunge into the world of identifiers. A quick tip, they must start with a letter or an underscore followed by letters, underscores, or digits. Remember, C language is case sensitive, so height and height are two different identifiers. Let's take an example. Suppose we have a variable named age in our program. Here, age is the identifier, helping us work with this specific variable throughout the code. Now, consider a structure, another exciting feature of C structures group together variables of different data types under one name. For instance, a structure student can have name, age, and grade as identifiers. Think of identifiers as name tags, making your code easier to read and manage. So next time you dive into C programming, remember to choose your identifiers wisely. Happy coding!